Hey everybody, we're back. We missed 15 days of summertime fishing because of seaweed, rough surf, wind, rain. Just, uh, it is what it is. Okay, she's digging up the little sand fleas. She's got a whiting in a little spot. Okay, I'm throwing the second rod with the whiting head. So I'll have two BG 8000s out today. Wow, news flash. We caught something. We haven't caught anything in an hour and a half. So what do you got so far? Is it four whiting in the spot? She's probably averaging 25 fish a trip. Uh, not this time, at least now. The Pen 450 SSG, I took it completely apart and put it back together again and it works. That's a big plus. And I put some little oil and grease in it and it looks like it's working fine, which is amazing. That's one of the best reels I've ever owned in my entire life. We've been fishing with that thing for 11 years and it goes on almost every single trip. Just a fantastic reel. Of course, they don't make them anymore. I do have a 5500, it's kind of a backup. Okay, they're starting to bite. She got a whiting and a catfish. Had a whiting head on the second rod. Now we're going with the catfish. That way at least I know that thing's gonna be on there. Never caught a stingray on a piece of catfish, but we'll see. Are you mixing the same please with the fish bites? Yes. Okay. Okay, another whiting, and I know you're going to get mad, but we're going to have to keep him. We're going to have to keep him. So how many is that? Seven. Whiting. Seven whiting, a catfish in the spot? with the wind dying down and the, the bait situation has greatly improved. Okay, what do you got? Huh? Okay, sure it's not a catfish. Let's see. That's, she's actually pretty good. She can tell what the little different Difference of the bites are. Ah. Uh, okay, let him go. Yeah, we got two. Let that one go, the fresh one, the live one, so he can live. Okay. So no difference in the reel? You see no difference? Besides you getting your wet, sandy hands all over it? Other than that, it's the same? Good. So the trip is a success that I I got the reel put back together right. Because I took everything apart on that thing. Hey, they're definitely biting now. looks pretty good too. Uh, well, okay, of course, because I grabbed the camera, get, get film with the entire fish, and it's a catfish, so not surprising. Okay, I'll take it off. So now she's using just straight fish bites to avoid the catfish, which she's caught too. 
out of the past five or six fish, two of them been catfish because of the sand fleas. It is really hot out here too. That's why I'm filming from the umbrella. Spot. Okay. Let him go. They're definitely starting to bite now. And without the sand fleas, we can get the catfish out of the way. Okay. And he bites on another white one. Yeah, I guess the whiting like the white fish bites. Spot bites the white one too. Did it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can let him go. It's okay, it counts. It's a spot, she was gonna run down there to get her fish to make sure it counts. That's been drilled into her, especially bass fishing. It would have counted if I'm desperate for bait, I'd just run out and get it. Okay, this time she loaded up the rod with the, her little sand fleas on every hook. So let's see if it's gonna be a catfish. Okay, she's got, let's see if it's a catfish. Okay, she thinks it's a catfish and you would guess so with the same please. Yay! Okay, that's probably the biggest white. white end of the day. On what fish bite? White. The white one. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm going to get sand free right now. Okay, where are they at? The water, water comes down and you see the dam. Like a dimple like this, and you scoop up. Okay, let's see. And this is a how I get sand. Now she gets her sand, please. There they go. They're all going to be washed away. Washed away. They're just little ones to see. Yeah, I can do with that one hand. That's enough to fish with. Okay, here, show them your little thing full of sand, this please. This is a sampy container. So she just uses that little plastic container for her sand, please. Jesus, I didn't know you had that much in there. Yeah, this is a surf free bait. Yeah. Yep. Free bait for the surf. Yep. Some people are using the sand free bait. Right, yeah. Hand. Are we gonna get a stingray or a shark or what? I like to. I hope so. Time is running out though. Yeah, it is. It's a right now. It's a high tide right now. 
All right, Ty, we've had baits out all day, two rods. This is the third trip out of four. We've had two rods out all yeah. day with good bait, yeah. not even a pull down. Yep. And let me see. So she's probably caught how many today? More than 15 for sure. Yeah. Probably 18, maybe. About like that. Okay, I'm gonna go so far right here. You don't need to go far. So. Yeah, she just flips it out there. Actually. She throws much closer than that sometimes. That was probably 20 feet from the edge of the surf. She'll throw 10, 12 feet sometimes. Got and one. she's already got one. That's a good whiting. All right. You don't need right? No, you can let him go. Good. Here you go. That's a good whiting. A and the fish bites, you don't know what one he took. I'm going to assume he grabbed the sampling because actually it's still on there, isn't it? Yeah. In his mouth? Yeah. Doesn't that surprise me? Mr. Cat. Here, I'll take it off. Yeah, you probably got 20 fish. Yeah. yeah. But we still got a little bit of time, so yeah. let's see. Oh, Here, I'll take the catfish off. She's still catching. We're trying to risk it here with the rain. She's still catching fish. I would say that's more than 20 for sure. Huh? Yeah. Probably 21 or 22. Yeah, they're really close by. Here, show them how, show them how far you're casting. Get rid of that thing. Well, I hope we don't get wet. We are really risking it. Here, show them how far you're flipping it out there. T 10 or 12 feet from the edge of the surf. That's probably 15 feet from the edge of the surf. She's been fishing even closer than that. Sometimes she only fishes six feet. Thanks for watching. See you next time.